Hello, peoples of the internet. This is Eminel, and as you can see, we are playing Clash of Clans today. Now, I've done, I've been doing a little bit of work, as you might be able to tell, on my base. I am currently Town Hall 9. This is what my base looks like. And I've got some Dark Luxor to collect. I only have 69 gems. I think I can get one more. Them over here. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't get any gems from over there. I still have one builder left. One builder is hot left. If I um, if I decide to build anything today, and you know what, we're going to be needing a lot of elixir. I'm gonna be needing a lot of a lot of things. <clears throat> um, yeah, mainly. You know what? I'm going. Let's see. I've got one day four hours on the. Khan on the Khanilusha Chernovo Elixir. Pardon, pardon the fact that it's all in Russian. I'm practicing my trying to practice my Russian, and so I turn turn my game. Trash and actually, you know what, for the video though, let's turn it back to English. So, all you people of the United States will be able to understand what is being said. And, uh, anyways, so I've got one, uh, one day, four hours on Dark Lexus Storage, one day, seven hours on Hidden Tesla, and three days, four hours on this expo right over here, and five days... 10 hours on this expo right here. And then I've got a full camp of troops and um, a full slot of elixir or full slot of potions. And I am eligible for a star bonus. So let's go ahead and do some attacks. Let's see. Um, oh, wow, there's a boost army button. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, Nine fifteen archer. I try not attack town hall my town halls that have a higher than level nine archer rating. Just because I am not that familiar with the game mechanic yet, you know, or in strategies and whatnot, and it just isn't a good time most of the time. You know, I think I can get at least fifty on this base. Let's come over here. Maybe, yeah, right over here will be good. Let's drop two earthquake spells right there. Got the giants coming in. And some wall breakers. Let's drop in Barb King. And freeze spell you guys. It doesn't last that long, but it'll be a much needed advantage. Holy cow, Barb King, yikes. They were expecting me to put something there. And my Archer Queen's already down. Um, let's put those guys there. And let's sick you guys on that Archer Queen. Get you guys down. And we should be pretty close to the town hall. Yep, that Pekka is on the town hall now. Should survive long enough. Or, or it might not. Let's hope it does. Oh, no, nope, it's down. But we just need to do one more building and we'll be at 50%. Nope. One more, come on. Come on, Pekkas, you've got this. Yep, 50%. That expo is going to be a pain. And let's see what the AI decides to do. Yep. Well, we won, and that's part of the point. Oh, we got quite a bit of dark elixir, too. That's nice. Okay, our troops are all ready to go, but our heroes are not. 
and I'm pretty low on gems, so I'm not going to boost. Oh, actually, we're going to be doing quite a bit of attacking in the near future, so let's go ahead and boost everything with one of those hmm, training potions. Uh, and um, seeing as I only have level 5 Archer Queen, um, Archers and Barbarians, I'm not going to be barching anybody this episode. Um, I need 10,500,000 and for like 10 days, four, 4 days, 12 hours, 4 days, 12 hours, so, so 10.5 million elixir and 9 days before I'm ready to, <laughs> I'm realistically ready to barch people again. But for right now, this army works wonders on the battlefield 90% of the time thereabouts. And yeah, let's see. We just have to wait for my Barb King, mainly. He takes a lot longer to um, heal than my Archer Queen since she's at such a low level. She's only level 3 right now. But all should be well in the in the realm of the MNO village. And anyways, my archer queen's about to be healed all the way back up. And my barbecue is actually gonna be a little while longer. He's got it on 4x boost, so he's got a, a about a minute and a half left of healing time. So, let's see. Is there anything else we can do at this juncture in the game? No, let's, um, let's pass the time with a versus battle on Velder's base. Let's see. Okay, this should be relatively easy. Um, I'm not going to need you though, so let's switch you out for that. Let's place down one of that, trigger the trap there. Then we've got the hidden archers that are going to take care of that first, and then hopefully the crusher very next off, because once they, not once they become visible, they're going to be targeted by every defense in the place. Good grief. And now we've got giants down. Anything out here that we need to worry about? Yeah, let's um, put a few barbarians down there. A few more up here. And let's actually place down the battle machine next. <coughs> we've got the rest of the barbs over here. We'll go ahead and activate his ability. We've got 52% damage and one star. Let's activate his ability again. And we should have the builder base down. Builder hut down, that is. Yep. And he just died. That means we've got all of our troops down. But that should be just barely enough. Ooh, a little more than just barely. They got 48% and no stars on the on the on their battle. Oh, and I've got and um while we're um actually let's go ahead and click that. Go ahead and find another match. I'll be right back, guys. Um, in case this takes a while. Let's see. Nope. And, oh yes, this is a good base to attack. There's almost definitely clan castle. So let's enter right there. And we've got the wall breakers coming in, spaced out. Very nice. 
we'll go pretty deep into the base. Got one of you on each of these corners. And we've got you there. Let's get you down there. They're coming over here. <coughs> and let's place down a rage spell right there. How about I use the ability on them? I don't think I meant to do that. And there goes my bar. All right, and that Archer Queen should go down relatively soon, followed by the Tesla Tower. Oh, or my Pekka could go down alternatively. That's also a thing that could happen. And these defenses aren't messing around. Um, the point is we did win, and we got a good chunk of the, the, the loot. Let's sneak kick down that. Now go on, go for the town hall. What what are you do what are you guys doing now? Ah that that pack is bad. Ah well, like I said, got a pretty good in haul. Two hundred seven thousand dark um gold, two hundred five thousand elixir, three hundred dark elixir, and ten trophies. So yeah, not bad in the least, and there was no town, there was no clan castle like we predicted, but yes, the defenses were incredibly tight, so that might have been the, that might have been the reason for the trophy count. I, I usually assume that it means that there's a town, or that there's troops guarding the clan castle. So we went straight for the clan castle, and turns out that there was nothing guarding the clan castle. Which is nice. Um, anyways, so let's keep going here. We've got about one more minute on the Barbarian King. So let's take a look at a few replays while we're at it. Uh, let's um, look at this one that I did. I think this was the last attack that I had for the event recently where... Um, you can earn some potions by using the Valkyries and the Golems in the same attack. As you can see, I Earthquake spelled those walls into oblivion. Set a Golem on the defenses right there. I've got the Pekkas going over in that direction. One of them is over here with the Barbarian King. And it looks like I've already used two of my wall breakers but i don't know where they could have gone also by the way valkyries when they're raged are really overpowered and i actually think it's kind of hilarious <laughs> we got that expo on us and a a hidden tesla but we've got the town hall down already we got the valkyries over there Taking care of the, those defenses like they're nothing. And we've got these Pekkas and, go and the Golem over here. This was actually a pretty good battle. Let me speed it up to X4. And I think the main, the main deciding factor in this battle was time. I think we just ran out of time before we could get into the rest of the base. Which also, I, I noticed just now that this is in the shape of a heart, and that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I think the main deciding factor was time there. Anyways, just a quick replay while we were waiting for the Barb King to regenerate. Oh, and we don't have any more army. So... Go ahead and train two more of those. That, as you can tell, that's my preferred army of choice. I currently have 2,226 trophies, putting me in the second tier Crystal League. And 
Um, so that's going to be done in roughly five minutes with the boost. So let's take a look at some defense logs and um, the iron. Even, even back when I was at Town Hall 8, I kept getting attacked by really high level Town Hall 9s. It was pretty confusing to me. I'm like, why are you attacking me? I'm not even your, I mean, I'm not even your level. Anyways, let's, um, okay, so it only goes down to there. Let's do this 52 star, or 52 star, 52%. Attack. We've got the Barb King and the um, Giant Stand. The Giants are going after the defenses as per the usual. The Barb King's already down. So you can tell this battle is going south pretty quickly. My Archer Queen just got taken out. Pekka's aren't doing that well. We did get around to the Town Hall, though. That was right there. And, um, let's do one more attack log. Let's actually do one that I lost this time. Let's go and see this, um, 45% battle. Now, <clears throat> again, I, I tend to earthquake, um, the defenses near the, near the edge of the base to give myself a little bit of an edge. And then I wall break my way into the first layer and send my, send my giants on the defenses. Now that I've got a freeze spell, I try and, I'm trying to learn how to use those more effectively. So there is a little bit of trial and error in my strategy right now. Let me actually move all the way over here. I just realized I'm all the way at the edge of the... Camera. I'm, I'm. I just got a brand new. Um, I just got a brand new location, so I just set up my computer and my iPad, and I'm still kind of figuring all of this out as, as I go, especially with the iPad-based games that I'll be doing on the channel. So I've got this expo on me, and that expo over there is on them, but it just switched over, and. Let's see. Yeah, I think this was basically. I think I think a lot of this and defeat was RNG. Because. I mean, I could have saved. I could have saved my, uh, freeze spell from right now. I could have saved the. Rage spell for right then. I could have done a number of things differently. But yeah, it's it's all just it's all just trial and error right now. But I'm while I'm getting used to all the new stuff that I unlocked at Town Hall Nine. <sighs> Anyways, um, so yeah, just as a as a quick as a quick uh outro as it were let's do one more battle over in the builder base we are we are fighting amin jafari amin jafari amin jafari nine looks like he's a builder hall level six no level five um and then the back bombers let's take this place out very well done now let's put the giants down and those put a few barbarians down. Got a couple more barbarians down. Let's put in the battle machine. A couple of barbarians over there. Put down the hidden archers. Actually, let's put them down right here. Take care of the defending troops and the guard post. And I've got the rest of the barbarians down there. Let's put a wall breaker there and a wall breaker there. Activate the ability a second time or maybe a third. Oh, and it looks like he's already back. So we'll have to see how we did in relation to him. 
We've got a 65% two star, so I'm pretty confident in our ability to win this. And at this point, it's all up to that wall breaker. Let's see how he does. Now I was going to say, oh, he just moved into the range of the Tesla Tower. So 65% two star should be enough. 53% two star. Wow, that's hmm. well done. Let's see where, let's see how you did against the base. And let's forex this just you know, to be a little more expeditious. Okay, that's the that's hmm, the first star. Yep, not bad. Not bad. Broke into broke into the center of my base pretty easily. Um, in any case, um, and one more battle over here, just so we don't completely waste the power potion. And, hmm, I mean, if I was guaranteed all of that dark elixir, where's the storage right there? Um, uh, you know, it's, it just isn't worth it. Let's see. I might cut, I might cut out if it takes too long here again. Let's so let's see about, oh, here we go. There's a good base to try and break into. And I put that down, two of you. Put you all down right there. Take care of that barb that, that barb king. Put you down. Let's freeze that expo really fast. And put down the rage spell right there. Let's get the Archer Queen into the fight and those goblins. All right, looks like we're doing halfway decently. We should at least one star this base. Okay, very nice, got that. Got one of those down. <clears throat> okay, yep, that's it. Keep them, keep them distracted while those peckers go off somewhere else. Huh, it's completely ignoring, oh no, it isn't. The um, elixir storage. <laughs> You know it's gonna go for the air sweeper, and then the hidden Tesla, and then the air defense. Okay, yeah, that pick is doomed. All right, sixty-eight percent, one star. Got six trophies, two hundred ninety thousand five hundred eighty-three gold, two hundred twenty-six thousand elixir, and. 1,465 dark elixir, so not a bad haul. And with that, I think I'm going to call it good for right now. Thanks everyone so much for tuning in to this episode of Mno Plays Clash of Clans. Tell me what you thought in the comments below. If you like my strategy, let me know. If you hate my strategy, let me know. And yeah. I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and be on the lookout for more videos like this and others. If you enjoy strategy and simulation games, that's my gaming niche, so feel free to subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot of those, as well as a few other games on, on certain days of the week. I plan on uploading every day if I, if I can keep that pace, and 
Yeah, thanks so, guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye!